Hi there, my name is Vince from mrtelephone.co.uk and in this video today I'm going to be showing you how you can fit these nice F-type snap and seal compression fittings on to coaxial cable. The cable I'm using in this video is Webbro WF100 cable. It's a nice cable, it's pure copper, really good quality. So you're going to have to get yourself one of these little snap and seal compression tools. They're not expensive. If you were doing this full time, you would get an expensive tool. But if you're the DIYer or if you're an electrician who's only doing a few of these a year, then this is absolutely fine. This tool here costs about eight pounds. And you will also need a little coaxial cable stripper. This tool here is under five pounds sterling. These prices are as of 2016. I've actually seen this as low as three pounds. So in theory, you can get both tools for 11 pounds and then you know you're gonna get a nice, nice finish. So what we have to do is, we're gonna put the cable into the cable stripper. If you have a look on it, it does say 59 and six. That basically means it's suitable for RG59 cable and RG6 cable. So we're gonna be putting it in this side of the cable stripper because on these ones, they do actually, they do actually pop out and you can swap them, you can swap them over, but it's in the correct end here. So we're gonna be putting it in from this side because this bit here is kind of the stop where you should be bringing your cable towards. So we're gonna put it in like so. Now, it doesn't matter if you push it too far through because in this one, I am actually gonna cut the central conductor at the end at a nice 45 degree angle because it's just a little bit better when you're pushing into your equipment. There's less chance of the central conductor buckling if you put a little point on the, uh, on the end of it. So we put it in like so and nice and gently, just turn it round roughly about three times three and a half times, and you can actually hear the braid cut in as you do that. And what that should do is, it should put two cuts on the cable. One cut should go right the way through to the central conductor, getting rid of all the braid in the foil and that uh, the foam dielectric, and the other cut should just be taking off the outer sheath, the actual black sheath itself, and leaving everything inside intact. So. Here we go, you can see the two cuts. And now if we take that one off, it's taken off everything apart from the central conductor. And if we take off this one here, it's taken off just the actual sheath itself. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have to just fold the braid back onto the cable and kind of get it even all the way round. So you don't want like, for example, a big space this side and then all the braiding around this side. You want it relatively even going round the cable like so. Next thing we have to do is we have to get rid of this foil. Now, sometimes it can be easy and you, it would just peel straight off, but basically you want to kind of find where it overlaps. So if you have a little small screwdriver, Sometimes you can easily find the overlap. So there we go. Right, I found the overlap here now. If you can zoom in on that, hopefully you'll see it. So now we wanna just basically peel that foil off, go around the cable. And now that's removed the foil. And now we're left with the outer sheath, the braid folded back onto the outer sheath, the foam dielectric and this, the central conductor. And that's what you want. So what we're gonna do now is, this is the size of the plug here. When we uh, snap it shut, this black plastic will get pushed all the way up into the body of the plug. And that's what actually grips onto the cable. Now I've got a broken one here, just to show you what the inside looks like. So I've broken the plastic off on this one. And as you can have a look, as you can see, there's like a, a cylinder on the inside the foam, the white foam and the central conductor will be passing through that bit there and around the edge is where that the rest of the cable is going to go. So the braid in the foil and the black and the black sheath. And it has to be pushed on quite far onto the cable because the end of the white, the end of this white dielectric here needs to be level with this little shoulder in here. So you're going to, you see the shoulder, the white foam is going to be level with it and then the central conductor is going to be sticking out from there. So it actually needs to be pushed onto the cable all the way up to there. So that cylinder that I showed you inside is going to be going into this bit here, getting pushed all the way into there, all the way around, 
quite deep down onto the cable, so that's what gives it a nice good connection. So all we have to do is, you put it in like that, and then you just work it forward and back until, as you can see, the white conductor, the white dielectric is still quite far away from there, where it needs to be. So I'm going to keep turning it and turning it, and it's getting closer now. Turning it and turning it, just wiggling it back and forth until, there you go, the, the white dielectric is now level with that shoulder on the inside. Okay, and then nice and simply, you get your tool, it's so easy to use. It's got a little hole here that you put the central conductor in and the F-type plug fits around there. So you just fit it into there like so, like that. And then when you squeeze this down, it brings this whole thing against this part here and it pushes the black plastic up into the body of the F-type. So you just do it like that. Okay, just like that. And now let's put the black plastic all the way up into the body. And now that plug is on nicely, nice and securely. And then what we need, we only actually need about two or three millimeters of this central conductor coming past the body of the F-type. Now a lot of people do just cut it straight, and it is fine, it will work the same, but if you cut it at just a slight angle, a 45 degree angle, when you're actually pushing it in to the LMB, or in this case, because this is an internal F-type plug, when you're pushing it into maybe your set-top box, it just locates a little bit nicer if it's at a point rather than just flat. So just cut it at a 45 degree angle like that, and then although it's sharper, it will go into the, the piece of equipment nicer. And that's how you do a snap and seal compression F-type plug. So I will do other videos, more in-depth videos of how to waterproof them using the waterproof plugs and silicon grease, and also how to test them using the multimeter. And I will also do the more DIY version, which is the screw-on type F-type plug. Now these are the ones I previously used, but considering you can get both these tools for approximately £11, I think it's well worth it if you've got a few of these to do, or if you're an electrician and then you're, you're doing a few of these a year. If you're a professional, you won't be using a tool like this, you'll probably be using a ratchet one, and I think they start at about £35. But uh, this is fine for a DIYer and occasional use. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want sort of telecom related tools and this kind of coaxial cable, then please check out www.mrtelephone.co.uk. Okay, hope you enjoy it. Take care. Bye now.